Good morning, happy Thursday. We're gonna start off this morning with some cooking. Um, I'm working on lunches for my husband. He takes something that he can warm up in like a lunchbox that he plugs into a cigarette lighter. And we had these spicy chicken patty things in the freezer. He said he wanted those. So we're gonna put those in the oven and start some breakfast burritos. So we're starting off with two of my big cast iron skillets with sausage. It's frozen, so there's some water in there, and we're going to cook it up. And then we've got two dozen eggs to go in and a whole stack of tortillas. Um, this is not just breakfast for this morning, obviously. We're going to do some for this morning. And then the older kids are going to a youth rally on Saturday and they can take these for breakfast so they don't have to buy breakfast out and then whatever's left will go in the freezer for my husband for work. So we're going to do that this morning and while this is cooking I am going to go and strip my bed because we had a little boy who came in and had an accident so I get that stuff in the washer and get some breakfast done and we'll go from there. Plan is to clean up the house a little bit because I said we would cat sit for some friends. They're gonna be out of town and our daughters didn't want their cats left alone. So they're gonna be bringing them here, I think at some point today. So we're just gonna clean up the house and have that ready. It's quarter till eight. I already had the kids go through their shoe bins because that's something that had been bothering me and just get rid of anything that was too small or that was broken because sometimes we get new shoes and so they just get tossed in on top of the ones that we already have. So we got that done and now we're gonna... I'm just gonna finish filling up this load with some towels so that we try to only run full loads of laundry. And then I heard recently that if you have hard water to add baking soda to the wash, we have really, really hard water. So add instead of half a cup. I feel like my wash is a little bit smaller, so I'm just gonna do a scant half of it. It. it probably should be mixed with the water, but it'll be okay. So, we are going to get this going. So, this first skillet is done. That one's still cooking a little bit, but it looks pretty dry. I don't think there's enough fat in it to actually cook the eggs. So, I'm going to add some baking grease out of the fridge. And we'll let that melt in. And then each skillet gets a dozen eggs. They are all scrambled up with just some salt and pepper. And that won't make them super eggy. They'll be meatier than eggy. But that's how I like them. So we're going to scramble up the eggs till they're done and then just melt in some cheese. And roll them up in the tortillas and like I said this is gonna make a lot because you don't put very much on each one. So that's where we are now. And today is Thursday and on Thursdays I always do some like office work bookkeeping stuff. So I take my receipts and I had already scanned them into my rewards apps and then right here I'm writing in our expenses in our expense record for things that we had spent this week and then I go over our budget. I by now kind of know what tomorrow's paycheck is going to be like. My husband gets paid every Friday. So I go through and adjust, you know, tithe, we always give 10%. So once I know how much it is, then I can sort of figure out how much the tithe is going to be 
and then just other things. I know more what's coming up in the next week if there's things that we need to go through and, um, you know, budget for. So I'm doing that, and then I'm also calculating, making sure that it all ends up at the right amount and how much we're able to put in savings at the end of it. Um, during the year while he's working, we do try to put a decent amount back in savings. And then he, I'm writing down on this other sheet of paper over here the things that I'm going to pull out in cash, which categories. I use the cash envelope system, so I'm writing down which categories and how much, and then a total. And then, so right now I'm figuring out the total. And then at the bottom of it, I will start writing down, like, how many ones we need, because we need ones for, um... Sunday school for the kids to give and the tolls that we need to cross the bridge. We go into West Virginia and it's $1.50 each direction so we pull 12 ones every week for that. And so I figure out how much we're going to need out in cash whenever he gets his paycheck tomorrow. So then I pull up the bank website and I actually do still balance my checkbook. I know lots of people don't and I don't really know. I guess you just check your account constantly. I don't know. But I do use a check register and write everything down and so I'm just balancing that all out, making sure that what I have is the same as what the bank has and um, writing in anything that I forgot to write in. And then um, I went to go ahead and put this away, but I realized that while it was out, I may as well go ahead and write in the bills that are going to be coming out this week. Um, we have our bills divided up, you know, certain ones come out on the first paycheck, the second, the third, and the fourth. So I know pretty much which bills are going to come out each week, but I'll just write them in and then subtract it all after we deposit his paycheck tomorrow. And that's about the end of what I need to do for my financial work on Thursdays, but it's, it's nice to have this done on Fridays. Fridays are sometimes pretty busy, so we just do it all on Thursdays and then I have it done and ready for his paycheck. So Aaron is making a forensic science game for his siblings. He has painted his blood splatter evidence so they can figure out what happened to the missing person who happens to be Alex since Alex is not here for the summer. And now he's getting ready to take all of his siblings fingerprints. So if you do this on a rainy summer day, you might be a homeschooler. Come out. Okay. Take it. Take it. Wait. Are you going to label them then? Yeah. Okay, wipe your finger off and then go mm -hmm. wash. Wipe it off on the paper towel. I don't know. Maybe he thinks you're a bad guy. Yeah, we never know if you're a bad guy, so. No, I'm a good guy. You're a good guy? I, like I don't know if you smear it like that. Maybe you won't be. <laughs> it's hard to see those. Well, except for you wore it off. <laughs> the middle. Okay, it's okay. Make sure you label it. Oh, well. No, we don't. I tried that when we did the forensic science. Oh, good. You see that one okay, now? go wipe it off. And then go wash them. Wipe it off and then go wash them. Now, Caleb, we know you like to be dirty, but you still have to wash your hands. Did you wash it with water? Just in case there's any left stuck to it. Why are you wearing a jacket? Want the yeah. I want to. Okay. <laughs> You're detective or protective? Uh, the detective. Uh, the I'll just wait. I'm wrong. Or at EJ. No, I know what I'll do. I can just go back. Alright. I don't know if you can write your name or whatever. Are you doing your own thumbprint too? I just wanted to give it that experience. But now I'm gonna do one because it wouldn't be fair. So then, what's the next step to this game? I'm gonna give them their first papers, and they're gonna sit over here while I put that one in here. Oh, okay. 
So you have to hide the next clue. Kind of. Kind of. While they look at the case file? Yeah. Okay. I need to This is so weird. <laughs> so while the kids went outside, I decided to go ahead and get this living room cleaned up as much as possible. I'm not worried about like super deep cleaning, but just getting it cleaned up and these two loads of laundry put away. Clean out these couch cushions that seem to collect anything and everything and just get this ready in case we do end up having company later and um, this box of stuff that was out of our van that's still in the shop and you know just getting it all done getting it all cleaned up and rice and cheese all mixed up and then when we were at Big Lots the other day they had bags of tortilla chips for 75 cents so we're going to use them to scoop up the beans and rice. I find that if I'm tempted to spend a lot of time using social media or watching something or whatever that it helps to have a hobby close by 
And so I pulled out some embroidery stuff this afternoon that I'm going to work on while we're waiting for our kitten house guests to arrive. And so there are these quilt blocks that I picked up, I think, at a flea market type place. There's 11 of them here as I'm counting through. I'm pretty sure that originally there was 12, but we'll figure it out, make it work. And I don't know whether I'll for sure use this as a quilt if I get them all done or if I will just use them as pillow covers or something along those lines, but it's just something to keep me busy. And I decided to just go ahead and do each one in one single color, kind of like a red work pattern. And then I can find a coordinating fabric to go around each one or between them if I use it for a quilt. And there's nothing more fun than doing like a million little French knots. So that's what I was doing this afternoon while waiting for our kittens to come. Congratulations for drawings. And Lizzie's like, yeah, you have a million cat drawings. Was that shredded before they came? Yeah. Yes. I, I see you in cat down. Yeah. She made a cat down. Um, of some water. Peaches. Um, so just sit. Sit down here beside the food. Peaches is a sleeping one. Mm-hmm. I mean, the peaches will probably get up and stuff later. You know, I'm pretty sure I'd take it back on being a dog person. <laughs> Don't get any ideas. We're not getting cats inside. I know, buddy. We want oh, kittens. Let's buy kittens and we can keep the kittens inside and when they're done. When they get older. When they order. <laughs> See, hey! <laughs> See, oh, it's like I'm just trying to sleep. It's like, I want to sleep too. It's hugging you. It's hugging you. No, it's chins on the Oh, no, it's hugging you. And then here is our super quick dinner. Some more of those spicy chicken patties out of the freezer and some butter beans and then some um, chicken tenders that weren't spicy. I think that's the last of those out of the freezer. And then some of the peaches from last year that we just let them partially thaw and put a little bit of sugar on them and that's going to be dinner tonight. Micah, what are you doing? Why? Because daddy's doing it. Are you just like daddy? Yeah. 